adding background images behind content is pretty easy to do. In my example, I'm going to select this container that I want to apply um, the image behind the, the text. With the container selected, I'm going to the Styles pane, Design, and then I'm going to choose New Image. When you do that, um, a placeholder will appear. It'll say Online Image. And um, all of your background image options will appear um, within the side panel. Under resource, you can choose, um, you can pull in the actual resource for the background. You can enter in a URL or choose a local image. In this case, I'm gonna choose a local image. And load that into the project. Now, um, the position controls can be used to move the image around. Uh, the default values are um, left and top, but custom values can be used as well. For example, if you want to make it into the center, you can change the horizontal and vertical to both center to move that image around. The attachment control specifies if the image's position is fixed within the viewport or you can make it scroll along with its containing block. The local setting means that if the element has a scrolling mechanism, the background scrolls with the element's um, content. The fixed setting works well for large background images on containers. Now, please note that for mobile devices, they do offer limited support for fixed backgrounds. Um, so it's good practice that for mobile devices, um, you should change it to, to scroll. You can choose if you want the um, image to repeat or stay individual. Size, the size control offers many options for specifying the size of your background image. Images can be scaled up or scaled down and made to cover the entire background. Personally, I typically use the cover. This way it um, tells the browser to make the image cover the, entire, cover the entire size of the container, even if the images need to be stretched or cut a little bit off the edges. This is especially handy in responsive design where the size of the element or container with the background usually has a variable width. And if you want, you can do a custom and you can adjust the horizontal and vertical percent. Now the contain option under size, um, gives the instruction to always show the whole image, even if that leaves space um, on the sides or on the top of the bottom. You can see here the background color appears. Moving on to the origin. Uh, with backgrounds, they frequently define the containing elements. An origin and clip uh, are probably the least frequently used background controls. The origin defines where the top left corner of the background starts. Starting with the outside part of the element, the background extends to the edge border using a border box. The padding box setting makes the background start at the border underneath the padding using the padding box. Now the content box, the background is restricted underneath the content area the container type of the element don't have a content area and this setting will have no uh, or minimal effect. The clip uh, works in a similar way except for it clips the background instead of resizing it. And the blend experimental allows you to play with um, how it's going to look if you have a background color applied.
you can find additional information about the background images within the help guide listed in the uh, comments below.